I think when I spoke to Mira and, and people that I've spoken to now since I've created, because I have, um, I hear you children of schizophrenics on Facebook and that started uh, the second year of the pandemic and people have reached out and there's just this sadness, you know, it's all really, really quite sad because of what could have been. It's like this person, your mom or your father's sibling is robbed of, of their life. Just imagining your mom at the public library and just, it really does touch me to, to know that you're thinking of these things because there's still that longing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And I think, I don't know if that ever, I mean, I, I, I have found it still very hard to reconcile the fact that my mom will always have schizophrenia. It's, it's a tough thing because yeah. You know, I spoke to mum yesterday. She sounded great. Good. Oh, She's good. stable again. But, you know, we, my brother said, well, well, this is the honeymoon period and you know what it's going to get like after she's going to um, say, I don't want to take the medication and then we're going to have to go through all of this all over again. And that's just how life is going to be. And that's so sad because... I know that my brother is a principal caretaker now. I'm sure he wants to enjoy my mum in a different way and he can't, you know. That's sad. Yeah. Well, she's lucky to have beautiful children like you and your brother. Oh, I feel like my brother is just this person who, who's amazing, you know. I don't live in Sydney because it's it's hard. It's very, very hard for me. I I understand now that living here was kind of me getting away from everything but but at the same time I stayed in Mexico we came out for a holiday I stayed because you know I wanted to spread my wings and my mum was stable and I felt that I had earned it I felt that I had earned my space to fly and be free and I'm a singer and I that was always my dream and now it's my brother who has that principle, that main caretaking uh, responsibility, and I feel so terrible. I, I feel guilty. Uh, you know, that's something. I mean, we live with so many different things. It's it's a, a completely layered experience. 